Good morning guys, my name is Keenan from Decade Drives and today I'm going to film a vlog slash uh, installation video on my j roof rack uh, for my Suzuki Jimny. So this is going to be a part of my build series on YouTube on my Suzuki Jimny. You're going to watch me add a lot of modifications uh, to my uh, Suzuki Jimny gradually and also I'm going to use this car to go on a lot of adventure and trips and film it to show you guys uh, what the lifestyle is about when it comes to outdoors and camping so today is my first video and i'm gonna install this roof rack so nowadays in the market there are a million different types of roof racks you can get so i'm gonna talk a bit about the roof racks or the roof accessories more towards the off-road and 4x4 side so you can go with the all-out basic roof bars so roof bars are just uh, a bar, two bars that mount on the top of the roof. You are, you can are able to mount awnings, and you are able to mount tents on the roof using those roof bars. But you are limited to the amount of things you can store on the roof. So yes, you can buy boxes, but you you cannot put stuff like just put stuff on the roof like a normal roof rack. So that what limits you. And then uh, if you are off roading, these roof bars are very easily caught on trees, especially, and they can be easily ripped out by a branch. So, and also a roof rack will be much stronger and sturdier as there are more weight and there are more mounting and stronger mounting points on the roof of your car. So, this is the roof rack I decided to go with. I decided to go with this brand called J-Road. Uh, this is one of their flat rack lineups. Uh, this roof rack is actually specifically made for the Jimny itself. So, what I like about this rack is that it's a flat rack, but I get the choice of uh, being able to add uh, accessories to these uh, railings here. Like I can add hooks or jerry can holders or traction board mounts uh, what I like also about this roof rack is that it also has a wind deflector on the front of the roof rack this is to help keep the wind noise down and also this roof rack is made of uh, really light material really light metal this is also to help uh, with the center of gravity that I have on the vehicle and also help keep my weight down being that I also want to add the awning in the near future also uh, play a big a big thing when uh, it comes to balancing when I'm going off-road or being on an off-camber obstacle keeping the weight on my, on top of my vehicle is very crucial so I got this roof rack for a smoking deal it's second hand from a guy in Guantan so he uh, shipped it out here in a, on a tow truck shout out to you uh, if you're watching this uh, he gave me a really good price and I'm really happy with what I have so later you're gonna watch me install this roof rack on my Jimmy so let me give you a bit of close up of this roof rack so this is the wind deflector at the front of the roof rack this is to help also help keep the wind noise down so it runs in the front of the roof rack uh, there are four mounting points on the roof rack all made of metal and then they come with uh, rubber pieces which you can slide inside here so you can also protect your paint and then um, this is the some of the brackets areas where you can uh, slide on the hooks and whatnot accessories to store more stuff and then uh, these the grab handles that come special with this roof rack this to help you when you're climbing on your vehicle you get to grab onto this when you're loading stuff this to help prevent uh, accidents or slippage or whatnot so this roof rack is actually really lightweight I was surprised how light it was when I was first carrying it and uh, it's actually very small because it's uh, designed for Jimny but uh, I think this roof rack is perfect for me because I'm um, looking to save a bit of money on the roof rack so instead of going for brands like Front Runner or, or ARB j Road is uh, more budget friendly if you're looking to spend more money on other mods like tires or suspension like me so this j Road brand is actually really good and I'm really excited to test it Let's tighten all the nuts double check Okay. Yup, 
rubber bit is on there and this is how far back the fat is just enough to clear the antenna got this much space but deep gap here okay so mounting bracket we 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 use a old defender what carpet ah uh, old defender carpet made as protection for rubber so don't scratch the paint Final product. Good and fresh. Look center. I think it's center lah. Then I got just enough room. Hmm. All right. Clear the door, right? So, do you drive a four wheel drive and have this issue where you are not tall enough to reach out and wash your roof of your vehicle? Well, I got the solution for you. All you have to do is strap your ladder to your roof rack, grab it, stay up, climb up, wash your roof, wash your roof rack, come back down. Close your ladder, and you since your ladder can't fit in your car, right? Just put it on your roof rack, strap it down. That's how you solve it. So this is the final work of my jeepney with the roof rack, and I can conclude that this roof rack has been very well designed and very well thought out. Uh, being that it was designed overall to help keep the wind noise down with this wind deflector, I hardly notice it while driving it on the highway. And when driving it off this vehicle off-road, I can feel that the center, center of gravity has not been affected much. Being that I have now added more weight to my roof, it's hard to notice being that the roof rack is also so close and so long to my, the roof of my vehicle. So overall, I can say this product has been well thought out. And now that I have a roof rack on my car, I have more access to being able to put more things on the roof of my vehicle. And uh, I can use all this extra space and storage, especially for camping. It's all like my jerry can or some of my boxes up on top of the roof. Uh, this helps me be able to have more indoor space in my vehicle as well for other stuff. The only thing we had to do was we had to add a bit of some rubber over the brackets here to help protect the paint. But besides that, this roof has been well thought out. So my next plan with this vehicle is that I want to add like an awning to the side of my Jimmy so that uh, when I go camping and whatnot, I can have like a kitchen set up here and then this will help protect me from the rain and give me a bit of shelter so that I also don't have to spend so much time uh, in tents or setting up tops and whatnot. So the only is the next step for this vehicle. So this is going to be the end of my video today. So this is my first video. If you like what you watch, please like, share this video to your friends and family. Uh, subscribe to Deki Strive's YouTube channel and also comment down below what improvements can be made to my video and uh, what content you like me to film next with my Suzuki Jimny. So anyways, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.